More than 30 years ago, Sharon Monsky, my best friend and college roommate, was a young Stanford Business School graduate and management consultant when she was diagnosed with scleroderma, a rare, incurable, and often fatal disease. Sharon was smart, charismatic, and determined. So in 1986, with help from friends and family, she formed the Scleroderma Research Foundation. Sharon intuitively understood two things. First, altering the course of scleroderma would take world-class research by brilliant and dedicated scientists. Second, that kind of research would come with a high cost. As we thought about ways to raise money, Sharon, myself, and my business partner, Mary Sue Milliken, we soon hit on the idea of serving up great food and comedy to bring people together. So in 1987, Cool Comedy Hot Cuisine was born. The first event was held at our city restaurant and was attended by only 150 people. After hearing from his manager, it's never going to happen, ever. We plied Robin Williams with free food every time he came to the restaurant, and there he was, the night of that first event making a surprise appearance. He went on to appear five more times. A few years later in 1992, Bob Saget joined us performing at his first cool comedy. Sadly, his sister Gay was diagnosed with scleroderma that same year, which further fueled his incredible passion for finding a cure. In 1996, the foundation supported a film called For Hope, written and directed by Bob and starring Dana Delaney about Gay Saget's experience with scleroderma. For Hope brought much needed attention to the disease. One of Sharon's most critical inspirations was to form a scientific advisory board comprised of an elite group of scientists who could guide a program focused on understanding the biology of scleroderma. In the early years, there were few clinicians and almost no scientists working on scleroderma. Led by Chairman Dr. Bruce Alpers, former president of the National Academy of Sciences, and Dr. David Botstein, one of the world's leading geneticists, the Scientific Advisory Board supported the building of an effective and innovative research program. This amazing and all-volunteer Scientific Advisory Board continues to be a strong voice for excellence. Tragically, in 2002, at the age of 48, Sharon Monsky died of complications of scleroderma. She spent over 15 years creating and building the foundation, enabling it to become what it is today. And that little event we dreamed up, Cool Comedy Hot Cuisine, has fueled much of that expansion. We now hold events in San Francisco, New York, and Las Vegas, with Bob delivering unbelievable entertainment. In 2005, Octillion Pharmaceuticals began generously supporting Cool Comedy Hot Cuisine. This ongoing partnership has been the backbone of the event's success. After Sharon's death, board chairman Dr. Luke Evnen, a healthcare venture capital investor, and Deanne Wright, a lawyer and former medical researcher, began working closely with the Scientific Advisory Board. They steadily recruited top-tier scientists and new advisory board members from outside the field to focus on scleroderma and have dramatically expanded the program. And in 2015, the foundation entered into a partnership with the Cow Family Foundation that has further enabled the research program. Here are a few highlights of the research program's many successes. One of the foundation's earliest funded projects at Johns Hopkins led to the development of the nation's leading scleroderma center of excellence. Led by Dr. Fred Wigley, the center delivers state-of-the-art clinical care for patients and fosters a deep understanding of the disease. The expertise at Hopkins has enabled startling insights into the disease. Dr. Hal Dietz, a Howard Hughes investigator from Hopkins who was recruited by the foundation to work in scleroderma, turned his attention to fibrosis. This is one of the most devastating complications of the disease. Dr. Dietz's work led to the formation of a biotech company and with the $50 million raise to drive this work forward, we will anticipate that the first drug from this effort will enter clinical trials in mid-2019. Next, GRASP, a large-scale genomic research project which aims to identify genes that may cause more severe disease in African Americans. This collaborative effort is led by researchers at the NIH, Johns Hopkins, UCSF, and includes 19 clinical centers across the U.S. The Scleroderma Research Foundation has created a close community dedicated to accelerating research, advancing scleroderma treatments, and ultimately, finding a cure. 
the list of critical contributors is large. Generous donors without whom we could not fund our work. Brave patients who participate in research studies. Selfless scientists and clinicians who give their time, wisdom, and expertise. And dedicated board members who devote countless hours to support our mission. We are proud of the Foundation's accomplishments and we are thrilled by its accelerating progress. As Sharon always said, together we can make a difference. Thank you.